In today's video, we are going to talk about the best cat names. Bringing home a newly adopted cat or kitten can be a super exciting time. It can also be overwhelming, making sure you have considered everything from all the gear you need, to vets and insurance, to litter training and potential cat sitters. With all these important things to think about, trying to be creative and come up with a good name for your new family member can prove a challenge. You want to pick something that all family members agree on, and something that won't cause embarrassment when you refer to your cat in front of visitors. Here are some of the top tips when it comes to figuring out how to name your cat. Don't rush into selecting a name. Remember that you could be using this name for over 15 years. If you haven't picked one before your new cat arrives, it is not a disaster. It is much better to have a delay in selecting a name than allowing them to get used to a name and then changing it a few weeks in, just as they are getting used to it. Naming cats bring us closer. Even if you adopt a cat from someone, you may not want to change their title, because cats recognize their name says scientific reports, which conducted an experiment using cohabiting cats and cafe cats. As the researchers noted, though cats have cohabited with humans since about 9,500 years ago, their history of cohabitation with humans is shorter than that of dogs, and they have not been studied as much as their canine counterparts. But there are definite ways cats communicate with humans through vocalizations and purring. These facts clearly indicate that domestic cats have developed the ability to communicate with humans and frequently do so. This interspecies communicative ability is descended from the intraspecies communicative ability. While cats don't stare at you when they are hungry, the researchers found that cats show social referencing behavior, like gazing at a human face when exposed to a potentially frightening object, and to some extent, cats change their behavior depending on the facial expression of their owner, either positive or negative. So yes, your cat is talking to you and understands you. Both sets of cats in the study heard four general nouns spoken by the same people as well as their own name. Even when an unknown person said their name, they knew it. These cats discriminated their own names from general nouns even when unfamiliar persons uttered them. These results indicate that cats are able to discriminate their own names from other words. Don't overcomplicate it. Pick a name that is simple and easy to say. If your name is too complicated, your cat will likely get confused. You could also end up feeling silly shouting their name out in the backyard when you want them to come in, only to yield no results. If you do opt for a long name because it has some personal significance, then be ready to use an abbreviated version for everyday use. If you are a fan of Lord of the Rings, for example, and want to call your cat Samwise Gamgee, then using Sam would be simpler and easier. Establish mutual respect. A name that's cute or makes you laugh isn't necessarily right for the creature you've just brought home. For example, a regal Siamese cat will not feel respected if you name them Poopsie, and in turn, it will lose respect for you. A hairless cat will likely feel self-conscious and disrespected if you name it Fluffy. Consider your feline's dignity when choosing its lifelong label. Depression can occur in cats just as it does in humans. A depressed cat loses its appetite, avoids its owners, and becomes more sedentary. Don't make your cat sad. Consider the other names in the household. Try not to pick something that sounds too similar to anyone else living in the house, two or four-legged. If you have a dog that is named Joe, then picking the name Mo for your cat could cause confusion when you are trying to get the attention of just one of them. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Don't be too offensive. You may think it is hilarious when being encouraged by friends to call your cat a funny name, but don't forget that you have to use this name then when registering with your vet. It will be called out in the waiting area, and you will have to tell your pet sitter, work colleagues, and family members what your cat is called, too. Be careful you don't unwittingly select something that could be racially, culturally, or sexually offensive either. Of course if you actually want to push people's buttons, that is your choice. Consider their personality. By waiting until they arrive, can give you a chance to see what their personality is like, and this may inspire a name choice. If they are a small cat with a feisty personality, maybe you will want to go for something like Bruiser. If they are a big clown, maybe you will want to go with Goofy. Consider their appearance. Some cats may have unique markings or certain things about their appearance that inspire a name choice. If they are a bald sphinx, maybe you will want to go with Yule, after the famous bald actor. If they are a ginger tabby, maybe you will want to go with Rusty or Ginger. Draw inspiration from your cat's breed. Learn a little bit about the history of its breed to come up with a unique name. For example, you could give your Persian cat a beautiful Persian name like Ali or Zara. 
Because legend states that Burman cats are the sacred cat of Burma, you could brainstorm heavenly names like goddess or angel. Make sure it's easy to say. Cats don't come when called as easily as dogs, so make sure your cat's name is easy to pronounce. That will make him more likely to react when being called, and then any young kids in his life won't stumble over his name, making things even more confusing for him. However, cats tend to do whatever they want, so it's not really about what you call them, it's about what you have to offer them when they get there. Baisley says. Aside from naming your cat based on their personality or appearance, there are lots of other options for inspiration if you are struggling. Your favorite famous figures. If you have a favorite character from the screen or literature, or a character from history inspires you, this might influence your choice. In recent years, for example, cats being named after Game of Thrones characters have soared. Your hobbies. Are you a fan of a particular sports team or player? Maybe you are an enthusiastic gardener and want to name your cat after your most loved small flower, like Daisy, for example. Names can be inspired by hobbies, fandom, studies, or even a favorite food or drink. It is not unusual to hear of a cat being called Rioja or Merlot. A nostalgic name. Picking something that brings back fond memories can attach more meaning to a name. Maybe you want to name them after a much-loved holiday destination, or after a person, you are close to and have lost touch with. It could be something fun like the name of your favorite candy when you were growing up. Create a list of every name you like. Read it out loud. Which names flow off the tongue? Some names may seem more appealing on paper. Look at your cat while you read the potential names. Does your cat just look like one of the names? Get the opinions of family and friends. Sometimes you hear the ideal name and it just clicks. Other times, you will need to slowly eliminate your options one by one. Remember, you'll be saying this name a lot. Pick a name that you enjoy saying. Contemplate the possible nicknames. You may love the name Benedict, but you'll likely start calling your kitty Ben or Benny for convenience. If you choose a long name for your cat, it helps when it's easily shortened to a nickname. On that note, keep in mind that cats do respond best to short names. Penelope is great, but Penny might be even better. For inspiration, we've rounded up some of the most popular and amusing cat names to give your darling kitty the title he deserves. Don't stress too much about the small stuff. If your cat responds well to the name and you like it, really, that is all that matters. Your cat won't mind if it is overly common, extremely unique, or one that other people may find odd. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.